guys, hello everyone! My name is Inga Yoon, I'm an artist, freelance illustrator, and during my short tutorials I constantly share some useful tips and tricks how to use Procreate in fun and easy way. And guys, I create different tutorials how to paint in Procreate in watercolor style and how to make your art look like its traditional one. So if you like my short tutorials, you can subscribe, hit the like button, grab your iPad, Apple Pencil, and we can start our painting journey. Hi guys, hello everyone! During our today's short tutorial, we're gonna paint this lovely capybara in watercolor style. And for this class, we're gonna try my pro watercolor brush set, but of course feel free to use brushes that you have. And let's get started! I'm on a new layer. I grab blue dark edges brush. See, I lifted my apple pencil, but don't worry, it's not a big problem. Later, we're gonna use blending tool. Blue perfect edger and smudger. Just blend, sharpens. Next, pink color for ears. Next, let's grab orange for oranges. We also have lighter color capybara here. And what I'm gonna do is I'll show you, I will just duplicate this layer and I will go and grab transform tool and press flip vertical and I just move my capybara to this side then I will grab liquify tool and I will just move this part to the edges like this next I just want to erase some overlappings so I will grab selection tool, press free hand and I'm gonna select the overlappings, be careful don't grab too much of a color. Select, then three fingers down, press cut. Ding! Like this. So I keep it that way. Then let's return to our capybara. Now I want to make our illustration less transparent. Let's just duplicate it like this. And now our capybara is pretty bright. It's what I like. So let's merge together those two layers. So guys, I'm on a new layer that is underneath of everything and I decided to grab uh, some pink color. Then I will grab blue salted brush because I like the way how the edges turn into something unpredictable. And ta-da! It's barely seen. If you want to make it brighter, just duplicate it. Grab blue color, new layer. And I just want to create some shades. Merge together. So we're done with the first layer, now let's start adding shades little by little. I'm gonna create one more layer on the top of everything and I will move to multiply blending layer mode. Above the brush I grab blue dry brush and uh, let me think, I'm gonna grab some brownish shade and I wanna add some colors, some color variation. This brush is amazing because it has very uh, sharp edges, that's what I like about it has a little bit like gouache vibes. So I want to make it slightly textured. Don't worry, later I will just lower the opacity. So it will be not that visible. But still it will help us to get some kind of shades and texture at the same time. Let's just jump into this color, slightly darker. Go with pink color, with pink shade. Okay, if you're happy with what we have, so then you might lower the opacity like this. You see till 30-40% and it's barely seen, but in the same time we have lovely texture. 
You actually can do same with oranges. So we already lowered the opacity and you can just control it and add some kind of texture to your art. Now let's start adding texture to water and uh, environment. Same brush. Same about the pink color. I'm gonna go with a slightly purple shade. I just want to show some texture around the axis. I want to make this background slightly messy. So you're gonna create some kind of like Van Gogh style strokes, like from the Starry Night. So show the flow with some kind of dynamic the movement with the brush strokes. Like this. And if you want to make it brighter, you know what to do. It just increase the opacity. So whatever you like. I'm going to stay with 40%. And I still want to add more saturation. Lower the opacity of the sketch even more. Like this. And let's Put one more layer of shades, multiply. Blue Oriental Dry Brush. So let's leave with a color burn, like this, and our lovely capybara is ready. And turn off this part. So the last thing that we want to do, we can grab a razor, stylize sign brush, And just gently erase the edges. It helps us to add this lovely finishing touch to our art. Ta-da!